with Sony announcing that the Sony A1 can now record photographs as medium RAW and small RAW, there's a justified concern that the uh, RAW file might not, might not have all the detail that the full RAW has when you shoot in medium or small RAW. And uh, the one report that I saw said that the highlights are clipped. You, your highlight recovery is uh, compromised. So what I did is I photographed a white shirt on a coat hanger in the studio with continuous lighting. And then, uh, then at 400 ISO, I did a sequence of photographs where, okay, well this one, the histogram looked good, so we'll take this as our zero, our baseline. And we've got detail there in the top in the white of the shirt. And then I progressively opened up the shutter speed by a third of a stop. And then I did the same for medium raw and then small raw. You'll see here where we are two stops over, there's just about no detail. And then we'll see how the large raw file, medium raw file, and small raw file compare in terms of highlight recovery. And if you look at the screen here, the blue is the full raw, though the line marked in green is the medium raw, and the line marked in yellow is the small raw. So two thirds of a stop up from the zero, in other words, we're getting a little bit of overexposure. Okay, there's all three files. It looks a little over. Now, I've done nothing in changing any of the settings of the raw file. You'll see it's all zeroed out as the default. Looking at this, we are dealing with a file at two-thirds of a stop more than the other one. So let's pull it down. Let's pull it down two-thirds of a stop. Medium raw looks good. Small raw looks good to my eye. Obviously, we can do more scientific tests than this, but you know, for my for my concern, this is good enough. Okay, I'm going to say done. Let's go to one stop overexposure. Let's see what happens there. Are we starting to lose serious detail here? I'm going to pull down on the large raw file. I'm pulling it down here as one stop down, as you can see uh, in the control on in bridge. Now, the engine in bridge. Dealing with the raw file is the same as Lightroom. So what you're seeing here will translate directly uh, with Lightroom as well. Once up down, we are getting the detail there. Medium raw file looks good, maybe a little brighter, which means we might be getting more flattened highlights. Still, it looks good to me. This should sway a little bit here, so that is slightly different. But if you look at the small raw versus the large raw, yeah, we're starting to lose a bit of detail there. Not terrible. Let's look at one and a third over. Large raw file can handle it, looks good. But we are starting to see some flattening on the medium raw and the small raw. We are not, we don't have the detail there, so that's looking a bit rough. So let's just jump to two stops over. Let's see what the files look like there. We'll bring it down two stops here on the slider for exposure. Large raw file looks good. Ouch. The medium raw does not look good. Neither does the small raw. And me that's a significant change. So going back here, I would say two thirds of a stop, you're still good. Let's look at the two thirds of a stop. We pull this down 0.65 on this exposure scale. Large raw, medium raw small raw, I can live with that. I think with one stop we're starting to see the edges of it where the file can't, the, the file just doesn't have the detail. So medium raw, so the large raw, medium raw, small raw. In a pinch we can live with that. But let's jump to one and a third, we haven't had a little look yet at one and a third over. I feel like we're losing detail there. 
So I would say, if, judging by this, and it's a quick test in the studio, judging by this, I would be fine with how the medium raw file recovers with 0.7. In other words, two thirds of a stop over. One stop over, I would say, is kind of the hard limit. Over one stop, overexposure, you, you've got trouble. So if you're shooting in a more controlled environment, I would shoot medium raw. I'd be happy with that. Two thirds of a stop recovery is usually more than enough. And one stop, if I re I'm really in a pinch, but you know what, if I, if I start getting that on the back of my screen and all the blinking highlights, I need to do better. So even with a large raw file, even though I, I, I would be able to pull that back, I, I, that's a bad situation. I think you just need to do better as a photographer and not get into that situation. So with this, I'm happy with how the medium raw file can handle the highlight recovery. It's uh, two thirds of a stop, maybe a stop in a pinch. Uh, there's nothing here that uh, would make me not shoot with raw file, but it is something to be aware of. You have limited highlight recovery. Okay, I hope this is useful. I will have the raw files as a, available as a download on my website. You can play with it and see for yourself. Maybe you'll come up with a different conclusion. We all have a slightly different range of what we uh, like and what we find acceptable. But for my work, two thirds of the stop is fine. I can live with that. And as I said, one stop is a hard limit. Okay, in the comments, let me know what you think.